uh, everybody, we, um, I'm Sol and uh, this is Terry sitting here. Um, we're here on, sitting here on the Lagoon 620 and Terry is the listing agent. This is luxury personified, I think, uh, the 620, but specifically this boat. Tell us a little bit about this boat. Sure. Well, we are on Barefoot Odyssey. She's a 2010 Lagoon 620. She's just gone through a very extensive refit with no expense spared on all of the systems, soft furnishings, uh, new bimini, uh, flybridge, etc. Um, she's a five cabin boat. She can sleep 10 people. She has crew berths in the four peaks. And best of all, she's right here in Fort Lauderdale for easy viewing. As I mentioned before, no expense has been spared on her uh, refit. All the electronic systems have been professionally installed by ABYC licensed technicians. Um, and as you can see, she's been set up to be completely autonomous from a power generation perspective. Uh, she has an extensive solar array on board, extensive uh, lithium ion battery bank, and also extensive ability to produce inverted power. Barefoot Odyssey has almost 5,000 watts of solar installed on her. Uh, she has 1,000 amp hours of lithium ion batteries at 48 volts DC. Um, she also has the ability to produce 25 kilowatts of power through her inverters on board, which gives you the ability to run the boat autonomously. She has also had a complete renovation of her galley. She has a gourmet galley down, downstairs below with uh, high-end appliances, fridge, freezer, washing machine, dishwasher, and also an induction cooktop. Uh, and she has been set up to be run on electricity, so there is no propane wired into the boat whatsoever. In January of 2023, the boat was completely wet sanded. Uh, and I believe they, they went through the boat four times to get back down to good gel coat. Mm. And there was a ceramic coating apply, applied to the entire exterior of the vessel, including the rear salon. And so the boat's protected with a, a high quality ceramic coat that's good for six months. And, and it's simple maintenance. Mm. Very uh, shortly after that, wipe it down once every three or four months and uh, you've got a very, very clean finish. So on a boat like this, you know, your main mode of transport off the boat is your dinghy, your tender, right. it's your car. Uh, and Barefoot Odyssey has a very nice 16 foot high fuel center console with hydraulic steering, a 60 horsepower outboard uh, mm -hmm. Honda um, engine, which is new as well. Uh, and the good news is it sits on a tender lift, which makes for easy retrieval of the dinghy once you've, you've, you've finished using it. Barefoot Odyssey was repowered in 2019 with uh, Volvo Penta D3 150, 150 horsepower engines. Um, they have less than a thousand hours on them. In 2022, last year, the boat's bottom paint was entirely reapplied. I think this boat, um, while it's owned by a family right now um, with several children, I think this boat will probably lend itself a very very well to a charter uh, environment because it has five cabins right correct yeah. she, she, she is the optimal uh, cabin configuration right. if you're looking to put the boat in charter to generate uh, optimal revenue yeah. fantastic so uh, when people sail away here the bottom is done the, the uh, ceramic coating will keep this boat in ship, sh ship shape condition and uh, so let's let's take a tour around the boat here we have the starboard engine room housing one of two Volvo Penta D3 150 horsepower engines. Both engines were replaced in 2019. On the starboard engine room, we have a sea recover, recovery water maker, along with the Thermodynamica 105,000 BTU climate controlled air conditioning system. This in essence provides climate control to the entire boat, including the electrical room, up front and also both four peaks. So here we have the port engine room. Again, Volvo Penta D3150 replaced in 2019. The port engine room houses a second water maker, which is a desalator, control unit, pumps, etc., mounted here. Membranes are in the bulkhead for easy access and installation of new membranes as and when they're needed. And again, the engine room is a very large, open, eerie, climb down uh, ladder um, and it gives you the ability to perform maintenance and service with relative ease and comfort. So this is the heart of Barefoot Odyssey's power management and distribution center located up on the foredeck of the vessel. Housed inside of here are 
the 1000 amp hours of 48 volt DC lithium ion batteries, charge controllers, AC distribution panels, and also AC inverters. The spacious flybridge has twin helm stations, both equipped with full instrumentation, engine controls, dockmate system, as well as the Vespa Marine AAS VHF system. All winches are powered, all the lanes are led back to the flybridge. And again, you can see, very simple, very centralized for easy handling. So Barefoot Odyssey has a dock mate completely integrated into the vessel, which controls both engines, bow thrusters, horn, and the windlass, giving you the ability to dock this boat with simplicity and ease single-handed. Thank you for joining me on this tour of Barefoot Odyssey. If you'd like more information, a lot more details, you can reach me at terry at catamaranguru.com or call me on 720-471-0887. Thank you. Thank you.